Welcome back to video number five of the Chicago Blackhawks dynasty. Sorry for the delay. Um, I was just uh, out of town for a little bit, and uh, but we, yeah, we are back. Um, we lost in the Stanley Cup Finals last season, uh, despite um, uh, a very um, stacked roster. We did have some injuries. And uh, it, it proved to be uh, costly, and the Rangers took us out in five days. So with that being said, uh, we need to actually win this cup, or else we will not be on pace to even match uh, what the Chicago Blackhawks did in real life. So this is a must-win year for uh, this team, which makes things a little bit uh, more exciting, I suppose. Um, with that being said, uh, let's uh, get things going here. So as you can see, Jonathan Tate's still injured. Uh, we did, we did, we were missing Patrick Kane and Duncan Keith there for a while. And by the time they got back, it was a little too, a little too late. Um, actually, how long is Tate's out for? For another, uh, he's he'll be back. So, yeah. So as I said, this is a must-win uh, year, or else um, we will not be on pace with the actual. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks, um, three cups, and I believe, uh, let me pull that up here. <clears throat> the cup, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks won three cups within seven years? Six years. They won three cups in six years. So, so, uh, uh, my apologies uh, for that error. It's not seven years; it was within six years. So uh, we have to win. We have to win uh, this season. Um, and and honestly, we have to win next year too. So the pressure is absolutely skyrocketing uh, right now. Um, so we'll we'll give it a go. Um, let's see if there's any. Hawks here. I don't see. Uh, I see Corey Crawford and Joel Quinville. Let's just go right through that. Oh, actually, the Norris, too. Sorry. So we did take home the Norris with um, Brian Seabrook. He had a pretty good year. Oh, yeah. So points aren't everything. Okay, um, we uh, resigned uh, staff already. We don't anticipate any staff leaving, um, but we do anticipate a uh, a pretty good player in Andrew Ladd leaving us. He wants to test the market, and uh, there's no way we can retain him. We can still retain him in the offseason, however. But everybody else here, uh, we do have a lot of uh, RFAs, so... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. With that being said, we can uh, get going here. So yeah, the pressure is on. I in, in the back of my mind, I was thinking maybe even skipping this, uh, yeah, just closing this franchise uh, uh, sim uh, altogether, and um, because it is going to be very hard to to do uh, the double right now. Um, because yeah, if we if we can't keep up with real life pace, then we did not achieve our goal. So um, failures do happen with the rules that I have imposed on uh, on like restrictions and and things like that within the sim. It is harder to build a team. You know, you can't just go out and trade for a player and uh, things like that. Like it's it's all a computer has to come to you to trade, and you can't sign all the free agents you want. Um, so it is more realistic kind of from building from within kind of is kind of the vibe um, of of the I guess the restrictions um, that I that I do put on uh, myself to make things more fun and more more realistic because uh, I have seen <clears throat> some sims where you know, uh, which which is fine. Everybody has, um, you know, their their own thing. But you know, they go out and 
you know they they stack their roster and then it becomes a little too easy um which is fine but i want to keep things as realistic as possible you know you can't just uh poach any all of the good players from anywhere and plus uh you know the the trades that the computer offers i mean the majority of them are terrible but there are a couple good ones too so anyways uh not a lot of uh free agency uh going on it looks like uh andrew ladd will be um priced out of our range no doubt about it so let's move on And one thing to note is that we have been able to fit everybody under the cap. Um, we haven't had to really... Uh, well, actually, there was Ben Eager who, who wanted way too much money. So there are some players where, you know, asking for way too much and we had to say no. So, um, but yeah, Andrew Ladd, um, I don't know if we'd be able to even fit him in there. So, and uh, But yeah, he was, he was a good role player for us. He, he definitely juiced up our depth okay so first things first let's take a quick look at this if there's any staff that I should definitely be adding to my team okay don't see anybody there let's see some scouts Kenny Holland has become a free agent. Looks like his time with Detroit is done. Norris Nick, I don't think they'll be joining Chicago, to be honest. I, mean, I keep things realistic, too, you know. Um, I just, I don't see. I'd love to add Nicholas Rissman, but uh, he definitely uh, belongs in, and Shani, too, belongs uh, in Detroit, especially with such a rival, too. Chris Draper, a lot of these ex Red Wings right here. Okay. Let's move on. Jeremy Conte. I think Jeremy Conte. I think that would be a good hire. Let's take a look at our scouting here quickly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Now let's take a look at our finances, actually. So we're not too bad, actually. We're sitting at 6th in the league, and lots of wiggle room. Lots of wiggle room, but keep keep in mind that we do have a lot of RFAs. Lots. And no, a lot of them will be want to get paid. Andrew Shaw, Peary will get a bit of a bump probably, too. So, yeah, we've got, we've got that going on. Let's see if there's anybody who we can probably... Release, yeah, one star. Not crazy about the one star potential. Will lapse Dane Fox. How's Brad Hunt doing? He's still, still around. Two star, one star. Zygmus. Uh, these guys are good. Andrew Hammond. How's Andrew Hammond doing? Not great. We could use a third goalie. We can use a third goalie. Okay. Well, there's a lot going on here. As you can see, there's a lot of potential right here. Restricted, but I don't think, yeah. I would, I would go after Palat if he is restricted free agent. Let's take a closer look if he is. So I guess he isn't a true free uh, restricted free agent. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go after him. So I'm gonna, I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, so he'll be our one over one star player. 
left wing. Did Lad just leave us there? I think he did. That'd be a perfect fifth. So again, one over one star player allowed. So like obviously I can't sign. I'd love to, but a lot of these guys here uh, can't do it. So I'm gonna go after Palat as my one guy. And hopefully, oh boy, he's gonna. I'm gonna just straight up offer. Him. Oh, is this the max? I'm just gonna offer the max and see what happens. Okay, now let's see if there's any under one star players with that kind of potential. Uh, Brad Hunt. Okay, I guess yeah, he's uh, still out there. Jan Ruda. Uh, Bones, Bones, Ben Bones. I'll uh, give Michael Jordan here. <laughs> cool thing is, is he actually played for Carolina. So uh, yeah, Michael Jordan playing in Carolina. No, not not North Carolina, but Carolina Hurricanes. And if you guys. Uh, if you, if you hockey guys are unaware, Michael Jordan did play for the North Carolina Tar Heels. Yes, the Michael Jordan. Okay, so I'm actually going to pick up uh, those three guys as my under three star players. I'm going to pick up Michael Jordan. That's one. And then I'm going to go with um, Jan Ruta. And then I'm going to go with the goalie, Bones. Ben Bones. All right. And that will be our four targets right there. So again, our one star and above is Andre Palat. Under one star, Michael Jordan. I think it's Michael Jordan, probably. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, I think, yeah. Jan Rutha and Ben Bones. Great name. Okay, so with that being said, do I have anybody on the trade block? Um... I'm going to put uh, Bufflin back on the trade block. He is uh, His game rating has just never been good for us for some reason. I like the player. Love the player. Big player that can you know, offensively be be great. but uh, And even his stats are good. But for some reason, the game rating is, is poor. And we never get a good offer for him. So I'm not too sure about him. Can't believe this team didn't win the cup. It's injuries. Injuries are everything. At the wrong time, you just. It's a shame. Okay. Bunch of national offers. No thank you. Yeah, I mean, Andrew Ladd, I'm sure he'll uh, end up somewhere good. It's funny how Andre Palazzo was maxed out at uh, just under 1 million. Draft lottery. Only five teams in there for some reason. Oh, who has won it? The Toronto Maple Leafs have won the draft lottery. I wonder who they get now. Who is the big? Who is the big Shishka in the in this year's in the 2013 draft? Who did? How did they rig this to get it their way? Okay. What else do I have to? I didn't see anything. Unanswered. 
Let's read them all. Unanswered still. Okay. Um, do I have to reject these? I'll reject them. Okay. There we go. I have to reject all of them. Okay, a bunch of news here. Let's see how my uh, region targets are doing. Still active, still good. All right, let's see who... Okay, so this there's no one in particular. Well, there's Nathan McKinnon, but he's vastly underrated here. So let's see if it's Toronto for McKinnon, because that would, that would make sense. It is McKinnon. So... <laughs> Uh, so there you go. The uh, Leafs rigged it to get McKinnon. I'm just kidding, but uh, it's funny how things work out there. Uh, until Hewitt. So the others ended up going with uh, Ristolainen. Okay. Yeah, I gotta start. I gotta start going out and getting RFAs. Because with our draft position, who's a true RFA here? Anybody good? Not really. De Kaiser, I guess, would be decent. But even De Kaiser, you can get a guy like that in the first round. Uh, yeah, not great. All right, who do we got here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, you can see here. So nothing fantastic. Darnold Nurse actually sticks out. At this point, I'd be pretty. I mean, if if if, if he's gonna transform, like there's gonna be no player like 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 uh, like Darnold Nurse. So I'm gonna take Darnold Nurse. I'm not gonna overthink it here. Nico Sturm. Billy Huso, who's had a great season with the Blues this year. I think he can. He might be able to elevate, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, there are. There's some decent players here. Bjorkstrand's not too bad. Declare. Uh, Mason Marchman here. These are all players that are very underrated in this game. Well, at least currently, for potential-wise. I think I'll be able to have a shot at them later on. Even I saw Bertuzzi down there. So I will take Huso now. There's Marchment. Uh, Bertuzzi's down here. Just 10 straight across. How's uh, Mason Marchment looking? Also the same. Same player. So who would I rather want? Bertuzzi, who's 6'0", 179, or Mason Marchman, 6'4", bigger guy. How did they do in the, how'd they fare in the juniors? Marchman a bit better. I'll go with Mason Marchman. Tyler Lewington, I think he's still, I think he's still playing. Yeah, he is not much, but he's in the game. Jackson Hoke hasn't played. Um, this is Kobe Cave. Rest in peace. Uh, I'm gonna go with Lewington. Is this it for and uh, yeah I'm just gonna forfeit this pick forfeit this one as well Now we're off to the races here. 
Okay, next day, let's see what happens. Let's see if any of our guys. So we did sign Palat. There you go. We got it. Jets with a pretty decent draft, actually. Very nice draft. I like that. Um, yeah, this one is not very good at all. This is a really nice draft by by uh, the Jets. So we do have Palat. Let's check out Lud. Still not signed. Okay, so Palat has joined us. That's huge. He's he flies up into the top left wing spot. That's pretty impressive. To add to our He's got five potential. Jeez Louise. We needed that left winger too. Not as a, not, not where they really needed it, but uh geez, that's uh that's nice. Okay, let's see if top prospects here. Lot signed Darnell Nurse. I'll offer him a contract. What else is down here? Billy Huso will get in as well. Boost up that minor salary. What else we got here? Brad Hunt. Okay. That'll be it for for that for now. Oh, we still have a few prospects we want to sign or uh, free agents, sorry. And there you have it, we have signed a few guys here. Jan Ruta and Ben Bones have come on to the team. I think we can release, with Huso and Hammond, we can release uh, these two goalies here. Andrew Hammond as well. These two will be our new depth guys. Antoine Roussel, still considered a prospect. Jacob Nielsen, I'll sign him now. Luca Carlson can still, I think he's an RFA, along with Roussel, I think. Pretty darn sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's roll. I think only one. I think Michael Jordan was the only guy left. No, we got Michael Jordan already. We got Jan Ruta. So the game really likes him. He's up there. So let's see here. I think we're... Yeah, we just got some. Of our internal prospects to sign. Oh, we do have... Wow, we... We've got some, and they're all from Winnipeg. Okay. <clears throat> Who do we want to not sign? Mark Scandella. Yeah, I feel Peary and Shaw have lots to give. Uh, Scandella has been a good play for us, but I think we could um, we could replace him. 
And especially we already have our top seven, really. Dory Krug is locked in there, and Tandev isn't going, going to be leaving that. I don't think he is, at least. And then we have Brody knocking right on the door. If we need an extra guy. So I think the obvious one here is... Um, is Scandella. Don't match the offer. And we will... Match that and also match this one as well. Wow, so uh, Winnipeg really making some moves. Okay, so there you go. We do get that first and a third round pick. From the Jets. Now, now I'm going to take a look at the Kaiser. Um, if he's still out there I don't think he is that's too bad okay all good wasn't meant to be Was it meant to be? All right, so let's take a look at our contracts. How many do we have? So we only have six slots left. So it is important to, to note. So I was thinking Kruger, Glenn Denning, uh, Roussel, Malker, so that's four. Uh, Brad Hunt, and I think we'd leave we'd leave the extra one. Let's go another week here. See if we get any more offers. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's get these guys back. Offer these guys a go. Pretty good depth, guys. And Brad Hunt as well. That makes sense to me. All right, so, yeah, so Stanley Cup or bust, folks. Stanley Cup or bust. Okay, did all these guys sign already? We'll bring up Austin Watson to camp, and we'll bring up Brodeen as well. Chad, these two players can battle it out on the on the farm. Also, no Matheson. Oh, Matheson's got some nice potential. Michael Jordan. We'll give him a look. Oh, Brad Hunt just took a step back just recently. Edmondson, Nurse, we'll get a look. Um, Farland, Melker, yeah, you bet. Okay, Byron, sure. Mika Zabanajad, come on, Mika. I'll call him up just because I, I don't want to stop believing here. Yeah, these are two guys here. Jesper Fast and Brian Rust. Could still be players. Connor Brown. I think he's pretty good still, yeah. 
decent potential. <clears throat> Martin Frick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's no surprise there. You can't go wrong with that glass whatsoever. Whatsoever. All right, so we're moving on here and um, we are on the cusp of the 2013-14 season. Uh must win. Uh let's Oops, uh, I think, what did I do? Did I go past the... Preseason start. Oh, preseason starts pretty late, actually. So, yeah. So, uh, let's see what... Oh, we got a trade offer, finally. Mikhail Bodker. That's not the worst offer, actually. To be honest, um, not the worst offer, but defensive depth is so so important, and uh, I'm gonna reject that. We do have a lot of left wingers there, so, and I'm actually going to pull him off the block because then I'm realizing how important, especially now we lost Scandella. Um, not it's like a huge swing, but it does make a difference. At top six, I love that. Bufflin, Jalmerson, Tori Krug is my number six defenseman. Tori Krug, number six defenseman. Don't mind that. All right, preseason start. Let's roll. Let's see how it goes. Did I get a trade proposal here? No, that's the same one. So yeah, lines for the first preseason game look pretty darn good. We're going out with our A roster, and we still lose. No, we'll just blame it on we're out of shape. B roster tonight here. And we get it done. So there you go. No, Carlson injured. And we'll go one more game here. Hopefully some of the the B team will get in. Not many actually. I'm curious to see what the lineup is next game. Depending on that. Oh yeah, I want this game. Let's get some more guys in there. Okay, so now we're five in. Now we could definitely make some moves here. Yeah, so all of these are pretty evident. Half-star player won't be making. I don't even know if a one-star player will make the team, to be honest. But it's good for them to get that experience, obviously. But again, you know, like these guys can rise up and become a one and half star player or, or higher. You know, it's uh, anything's possible. Okay, we might keep some of these one star guys here. So there you go. Down to two one star players. <laughs> I 
I think we have got one more on the schedule. We do, we do. Jean Merson struggling, but that's okay. Oh, so one of our one star guys boosted up a bit, so that's that's good to see. So we're down to 26. Okay, let's see the, what the positions are like. Lots of right wingers, eight defensemen. Uh, we're just right on centermen. So we're going to have to make some moves on the left wing. How's Kopecky doing? Two blues only. Roussel, on the other hand, is improving a lot. I'm going to put Kopecky on the tray block. Otherwise, this could be it for him. On this side here, Skelly. Bast and Rust. Still a little bit ways away, I think. Skilly's not that great, actually. I would rather keep Kopaki than Skilly, to be honest. Let's take a quick look. Well. Checking and defensive read very good, and his defensive skills are pretty good. Uh, team player, speed, strength, that's his game. I feel that Kopecky's only be going down, though, you know? 31 versus 26. That is a bit of a difference. Are we actually going to be rolling with eight defensemen? I don't think we have to do that. Brodeen still, I think, developing. So we can actually keep Kopaki. I'm okay with this. Oops. Now we're at 23. Perfect. Nobody on the injury list. Okay. Just beat the Stanley Cup champs. <laughs> All right, who are we losing here? Brad Hunt is the only guy, and I'm okay with that. Season preview, yeah, once again, we're definitely up there as one of the favorites. Okay, no. Turn that off. No waiver. Perfect. Yeah, so that's nice. A couple first rounders, but uh, Winnipeg will probably better be better than Winnipeg. That would be the hope, I guess. And there you go, we have a full roster, and let's give it a go. So now we are off to the races for the 2013-14 season. Must win. Must win. Must stay healthy. How about that? That's kind of the key to this, I believe. I think we know what we're going to achieve in the regular season. Again, if we stay healthy. Uh, this is a pretty good team. Team built to, to win from top to bottom everywhere. And um, as you can see... That's no joke here. Belzeal, Belzile. No, I'm good, thanks. I'm just gonna take him off the trade block. Mm, 
Okay, so we almost made it here to the end of the month. Uh, pretty good start. No regulation losses. Now, Roussel. Um, perhaps send him down since he's a he doesn't need uh, waivers. Take advantage of that. Piri still has, doesn't need waivers. That's crazy. Seems like he's been around forever. Okay, so Roussel will go down. Other than that, doing pretty good. Shaw too. I forgot Shaw is still pretty darn young. He's also been with the team forever. Okay. And we'll take a look at the stats next month. Looks like Crawford is getting almost all the work. And uh, Patty Kane up there in assists. Don't see him a lot in goals, but. So look at this. This is very interesting here. The Red Wings are right beside us. Still undefeated in regulation as well. Seabrook injured one to two months, so that will give Tanev and Krug a big opportunity. Yeah, this is wild. Look at look at this division. Columbus 11-5 in their fourth. Um, oh, now Krug is injured. One to two weeks. That means it is Brodeen time. Well, Zegmas has come up. Uh, well, no, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> One star. Okay. Look at this division. Detroit 31 and 2, and they're third in the division. This division is wild. The three best teams in the league are in one division. That is wild. I don't think I've ever seen anything like, quite like this. Is that right? Yeah. The three best teams. Hold on. Never mind. The four best teams. Get this. I've never seen this before. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen like this. The four best teams two months into the season are in one division. And... Wow, like it's unbelievable. I've never seen it like this before. 17, 1, and 5. 39 points. Columbus Blue Jack is 16, 6, and 1. That would be good for first in any other division. And their fourth place here. Just absurd. I wonder how this is going to turn out. Wow, this is just ridiculous division. Uh, meanwhile, on to the summary here. Kane, Palat, Palat is doing great work for us. Uh, Zuccarello, glad we kept him and didn't uh, um, walk to Detroit. Uh, how is our goaltending doing? Talbot is very good, obviously, and Crawford very good as well. And we got another defenseman injured. A lot of our guys are getting shots here. Should we go with Chad? How's he doing? Yeah, I, go, I guess we'll go with Chad. Rue will go. Rue Woodell. Rue Woodell. So as I was talking about defensive depth with Scandella leaving, uh, there you go. Scandella would have been in the lineup by now. Um, but that's okay. We we believe in some guys down here. Okay, so let's get this going. So an absolute, this is going to be wild right here. Like we could end up, who knows, third, fourth place. And still have an amazing regular season. All right, Kruger back in. Chad didn't play too hot. How many games did he get in? Oh no, he's not ready whatsoever. Good to know. Let's 
with an upgrade with Tory Krug. Sorry, we do have. I, I might have confused somebody. We do have Kruger as well. Kruger, Marcus Kruger has not played with the big team yet, but uh, Tory Krug was the player I was talking about. And now we're getting some guys back. That's all good. Bufflin again struggling with uh, game rating. Who's the Brodeen's been playing well, so I'll keep I'll keep it as is for now. Merry Christmas as we head to the new year. We are oh Seabrook, that's a nice present. We are first. Now looking back to standing, see if the top four is still there. Uh, top three. Yes, yeah, so now we're down to the top three are all in the same division by New Year. That's crazy. I don't know if that's ever happened before. Check check the book, somebody. Uh, but yeah, then Columbus is 45, which went is about still pretty darn good, but not in the top five or anything like that. Uh, but one, two, three in the league, right here, in the same division. Chicago, Nashville, and Detroit. And I know these are great teams. I don't even have to look at their rosters. I know exactly what's going on on those rosters. Speaking of rosters, it's our time to resign some guys. Krug injured again. He's day to day. Talbot. Yeah, you bet. You bet you could come back. Patrick Kane, yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll resign you. Do a little wheel room there. Taves, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll consider it. Uh, okay, meet the man. We'll I usually don't do this, but in this era, you kind of got to. Not if you guys demand. Tory Krug. We want to renew. All right, we'll get him under contract and uh, Zook. Okay, we got Zook there, and then a couple other guys. Boland is still there. We're gonna let uh, just these guys marinate here, make sure we get them under contract. Okay. <laughs> now I'm interested to see what we're what we're at. Yeah, we got lots of space. Bufflin, Holland. Bones making how much right now? Three. Oh yeah, we could we could squeeze that in. OK, 
okay that's reasonable so yeah so signings in this cap era especially for this team is very um not very important to uh to look at everything uh okay so we can definitely look at that All right. Well, he's gonna take a pay cut, so I'll uh, I'll do that. No problem. Marion Hosa, uh, Bufflin definitely don't want to lose him to them for nothing. So also very reasonable contract here. Yeah, we'll do that. And Skilly Kopecky will take care of later on. Yeah, so <laughs> pretty good season, but what will we get first? I don't know. I do not know. Yeah, let's take a look at the RFAs here. Uh, Dupre will let walk. Hunt will most likely let walk. Olsen, same thing. I'm not crazy about this one, but we'll qualify it. Uh, we'll walk. Walk. Uh, qualify for now. Kopaki, Skilly, fast. Fast will uh, qualify. Skilly, I believe. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for these two guys at the end of the year. Okay, so that's that. Got our contracts all settled. And now on route. Pinch to nerve for Patrick Sharp. He is out two to three weeks. Okay, another injury. Zuccarello is injured now. I guess better to have these injuries now than later, I guess, right? Zegmus is making a run. Uh, who do we want to call up? I think Luke has some decent defensive ratings. Let's give him a shot. Patty Kane on top of uh, points, battling it out. Talbot and Crawford having amazing seasons in the goal. And we're in February. Oh, Brian Campbell might be out for the, in, for the uh, season. Three to four months. That's not ideal. Not ideal whatsoever. So that's 64. So Pilat has been a huge, huge help. Almost point per game guy. Krug has been great too. He's developing very nicely for us. So yeah, there, there are the points right there. Pretty decent seasons from some guys. Again, not anything lights out, but salvageable. Hosa is actually way down here. I don't know. He's signing in for four something. I don't know if that was the wise decision, but again, um, I didn't even look at his ratings to be honest. But they're still good. He's about to get his number retired actually with the uh, Blackhawks. Maybe he already has, or it was within this month, I think, somewhere. Okay, so trade block, trade block, trade block. Anything? I don't see anything too crazy here. Actually, I will put uh, Chad on. He's been proven to not be very good. And then we have, who were the other two guys? Oh, Skilly. Skilly and uh, 
Kopecky. Two guys I'm not too sure about. Now let's take another look here. Fast to Glenn Denning. Okay, that'll be it. I'll put Glenn Denning on the block as well. these guys Bond is an important player is he still our second no he's kind of been bounced around here centermen are very important though so so far so good would love to get that first spot in the division though make things a little bit easier Patty Sharp back. And yeah, we're in we're in the we're in a battle for that first spot for sure. Nashville looks like a favorite right now to get it. And now we are in the Olympic break. So yeah, that's uh takes away a few players from us, that's for sure. I don't like how we have to play a single game during it. That's it's dumb. But anyways. Ben Bones looks like he's a little bit more ready. One, two, three, four, five. We need one defenseman. Matheson and let's see here left wingers we need two left wingers one of these guys waiver eligible 15 15 yeah okay so we'll send up call these two guys Roussel and Carlson. And then centerman, we need one centerman. Austin Watson. And then on the right wing, we need, now we need with injured Skilly, we need uh, two right wingers. Wouldn't be surprised if Fast is at the Olympics, but we'll we'll see. We'll confirm that. No, he's not. Okay. And we got a trade offer. Oh, not the worst offer, but not sure if it's is a improvement over anything. All right, let's roll through this Olympic break here. I'm actually curious to see how the Olympiad is going. So we are in the quarterfinals already. How does Canada look? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not too far off the roster that went. Let's see the states. Pretty good in themselves. Okay. Too many active players, so how many? One, two, three, four. Okay. Two goalies. And then we have one, two, three. Okay, we have too many left wingers now. And then we have one, 
too many centermen. Troy Brower is day to day. We could call down one of these ray wingers. That's weird how we're playing games. I don't know if they actually did. I can't recall. Uh, but yeah, Canada. Oof, that's gonna be a heck of a. That should be the final, in my opinion. Yeah, that should definitely be the final. All right, let's see how that ended. Canada does it. 3 2. So they, uh, I believe that was the Van Vancouver Olympics? No. 2014. Where was that? That was. Oh gosh. 2014 Olympics. That was Sochi where actually the Canadians did get it done over the Sweden. I think it was 3-1, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, it was Canada over Sweden. What was the score? I think it was 3-1 or it might have been 3-0 even. Now, I'm, now this is bugging me. 3-0, I was there. Bars were open in the middle of the night. It was awesome. I wasn't there, there in Sochi, but uh, I was having a good time, let me tell you. Alrighty, so now we are back to reality. Bones, thank you for your service. Did he get into any games? He did not, actually. Matheson didn't play too bad. Melker is well. Uh, what else do we have here? One more guy. Oh, fast. All right. Back to business. So Canada wins the gold. The world is right. And now all we need is Chicago Blackhawks Cup. And... Got some injuries here. Versteeg, one to two weeks, and Skilly also one to two weeks. Trade deadline coming up. We do have a few guys on the block. Ryan Lumberg for Thomas Kopecki, not the worst offer, but it just doesn't get get me going at all. Alrighty, now we got some more offers from Edmonton. Pouliot, no, I'm good there. Patrick O'Sullivan, also. Two guys who, Spadio O'Sullivan and Marc Antoine Pouliot, did not live up to the hype. Alright, moving on towards April and the Stanley Cup playoffs that are obviously as I mentioned three 13 times already uh, must win uh, hopefully we could go one step further than last year and get that uh, get Lord Stanley's Cup All right, Kopecky injured he's out for a couple weeks But we get Skilly back. I'm going to remove all these guys actually from the trade block. Didn't get many offers at all this season. But that's okay. Uh, 
Alrighty. So again, the goaltending has been great. Kane battling for the uh, the points lead. Uh, Taves with a, a bunch of assists too. Alrighty, Kopecky is back. Let's see how much Brian Kappel has on. Okay, so he is might make it for the playoffs if we make it deep. We'll see. Unlikely though, but you never know. So it looks like second place is going to be a reality here. First off, Taves. He's only injured day to day. I'm going to actually uh, put him on the injury list. So oh, and Tanev's actually out for two, three weeks. So that's not ideal. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit out Taves for the rest of the year. As it looks like we have that second uh, place in the division locked up. We really can't move anywhere. We are locked in that, uh, I think it's the fourth place, yeah. So, not much we could do there. En route to play Minnesota. I'm okay with that. Let's go another week. Yeah, we'll take a look at the summary. I know I noticed that we haven't looked at the summary recently. Taves returns just in time. Then we have Tanev, who's day to day, one to two months still. For uh, for Campbell. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's get going here. Uh, oops, no, let's go. How many games we got left? Oh, just one. Alrighty, so there's a wrap on the season. Uh, Kane second place with 102 points. Finally reached the 100 point plateau, I believe, for the first time. Uh, Palat, amazing. He was not that good right at the bat, let me tell you that. In his 13-14 in his season, he was uh, 59. Actually, you know what? <laughs> not that bad. One of his, his actually his second best seasons, so I take that back. Pretty darn good. Um, yeah, he's played. He's become a real uh, gem of the Lightning. Of their of their dynasty they're going for three straight right now so anyways return back here oh well, Shaw's had a really good year Dr. Keith Krug very good Taves uh, 20 points less so uh, interesting there um, but otherwise everybody's still pretty darn steady Uh, Talbot, 27. He ended up with 27 wins. So there was a bit of a... So there you go. There, there's a split in that. I did not notice this just until now. There is a split in goal. 50-50. Um, so very interesting to note that. Otherwise, um, doing pretty good. We do have a couple defensive defensive injury right now. Brodeen has stepped up in a big way. Oops. Rodin's over here. How's he looking? He'll do just fine. So I'm going to save this up as we head to the playoffs. Alrighty, so looks like we've got a date with the... Oh, Tata's back. Perfect. Got a date with the Minnesota Wild in the first round. I believe... 
where is it? Nominations. I'm sure there'll be a few here. Or not. Kaner with 10 Lizzie. No surprise there. Andre Palat. There you go. Rookie of the year. He's a, should be a shoe in. However, there is some competition for sure. Yeah, some pretty, pretty. Uh, Uh, pretty high scores there. Patrick Kane up for the Hart Trophy as well. Oh, so we got Calgary instead. Interesting. Minnesota didn't make the playoffs. How the heck did they fall out? Wow, they went on a... They went down under there. They finished 11th. Oh. 87 points though. Yeah, this is where the divisions get got weird. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bother going through it. Um, it was a weird time for the NHL and their standings. Um, anyways, you got the Calgary Flames, who are nowhere near as good as us. To just to be frank, look at this team. Come on. Anyways. Let's do this. Game one. Four one victory. Chris Tanev with the game winner. Kaner with two points. Uh, Crawford gets the start. Plays great. Game two. And a two one win. Tori Krug with the game winner. Taves and Shaw chip in with points. Okay, off to Calgary now. Off to Calgary. And we drop this one. Carl Kolyakovo gets the game winner in the third period. Kiprasov stood, stays on his head. Stood on his head? There, that's the word I was looking for. Duncan Keith injured. Let's see how long he's for. Just one to two weeks. Not ideal, but hopefully we can. Hopefully we can hang on. I'm actually going to send down Glenn Denning. Alrighty. So Brio Dean's going to draw in here. Game four from Calgary, and they win. So now we're tied 2 2. I'm going to save this game, try to refresh what's going on here. Kiprasov, another amazing game. Come on, guys. Come on. Alrighty. Game five back in Chicago. We do get it done. Jack Skilly with the game winner. Four goals for, for the Blackhawks in uh, the third period. Palat with two points. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's finish her off here. Game six in Calgary. And Calgary gets it done. Cal O'Reilly. Cal O'Reilly in overtime. And again, Kiprasov um, gets it done. The game ratings are not very high right now. Now we're off to game seven. We are off to game seven now. Of course, we gotta select a Hall of Hall of Fame nominee. I'm gonna go. I have a Steve Duchesne jersey randomly, so I'm gonna go with Steve Duchesne. All right, let's go. Game seven. Big game. Big game. And Calgary has not only ended our season, but has ended our sim. Cal, we cannot find an answer for Cal O'Reilly. Who the heck is Cal O'Reilly? Where's Cal O'Reilly? And what has he done to us? <laughs> um, okay, Cal O'Reilly from Nashville. Okay, bounced around a little bit. Yeah, he came up with huge points. And um, there you have it. So we have been eliminated in the first round. 
of the playoffs. I have no idea what is wrong with this team. Um, I mean, to, to wrap up here, I, I don't think... Um, Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know I don't I don't think yeah well clearly I don't think here because this team just underachieved like crazy like crazy it underachieved like thirty five points for Patrick Sharp you know thirteen fourteen like uh, that that didn't happen he was already a top guy like I, I don't know it's I don't know what to say, but uh, uh, that's that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote for this sim. We are unable to catch Chicago's uh, three in six years. Best we could do is two. Well, the words are. Uh, and, and Vancouver just took out Nashville. Um, and New York didn't even make the playoffs. A little bit of a topsy-turvy season. With that being said, uh, I am happy to announce the next uh, story, which will be the Columbus Euro Jackets. That's right. Euro jackets, uh, as suggested on the uh, OOTP um, forums, uh, I will be making an expansion redo uh, compiled only of um, European players outside of the the main. Um, the main countries, which are Finland, Sweden, uh, Russia, obviously, um, Slovakia. And I, I don't, don't know if there's another one here. Uh, as let's let's uh, keep going here. Uh, Duncan Keith, not having him hurt us. Brian, Brian Campbell too. Those those are stalwarts for us. Um, yeah, see Brian Keith, we would have Brian Keith, Brian Campbell, we would have had him back eventually. Um, so let's see here. Sanko Finals, Washington. How did Patrick Sharp get injured? But anyways, going back to um, the idea. Um, we are uh, going to just compile players. Uh, yeah, so not, not born in, in Russia, Czechs, Slovakia, Sweden, and Finland. And obviously, United States and Canada. So, um, and also, I'm going to add uh, Belarus to that list as well, for um, for reasons obviously what's going on in the world right now. So, uh, so no Russians, no no Belarusians either. And um, uh, and but, but yeah, we're going to try to compile. I, at first, I wanted to. I was thinking about X, uh, uh, just Soviet uh, countries such as uh, Ukraine and um, you know Latvia. Uh, Lithuania, um, it it would be just too hard. There just wouldn't be enough there to um, to get things going. So we do need to involve a few other countries like uh, Germany and Switzerland and uh, so forth. So uh, Slovenia uh, and uh, Poland and uh, those kind of countries. So, um, anyways, uh, that's gonna be my next go here. So let's just wrap up this playoffs here. It looks like it's the Capitals to win it. Uh, unless uh, the LA Kings can do something. One more Hall of Fame vote. Who are we gonna go? I love Chris Osgood. Um, I love Theo Fleury. Um, I love I love high character guys. Uh, Breed Nichols, very underrated guy. Um, and I'm gonna go with. Um, Mark Howe, because he was, he was a pretty good player himself. I mean, all those guys are really good players, obviously. All right, let's wrap things up here. 
my contract was extended, but can I reject it? No, I can't. <laughs> Alrighty, and the Seneca playoffs, come on. Okay, so Washington Capitals win it. And that's that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, what can I say? A uh, disappointing end to this sim. Uh, was not able to utilize um, the talent properly. Uh, one cup in five years only. That's that's not good. That's not what we came here for. Um, the first round exits. I think we got a few of them, to be honest. That's perplexing a little bit. Um, yeah. So, anyways, but I'm excited for the next uh, for the next sim. Again, it's going to be the Columbus Euro Jackets. We will start with an expansion redo, so uh, it will give us a little bit of a wheel room if if I do have to select some players outside of that and trade them. Perhaps uh, I will do that, uh, but I'll try to somehow squeeze it in. I'm sure every team has some kind of uh, flag, whether it's uh, you know it could be Norway or uh, we actually Slovakia won't be won't be part of it um, because honestly you can build a team of Slovakians to be honest that that's how strong Slovakia is um, it's not the fact that we want to exclude them is that they're pretty darn good on their own um, so we're looking for a bunch of players where uh, you know not a lot of players come from and put them together and see what happens make a European coalition so to speak so uh, so a little bit different uh, a little bit outside the box um, but something you know Something fun, and um, because uh, I've already done an expansion redo with the Thrashers, and they're fun and they're great, and uh, but uh, this will be something uh, something different, and um, and I uh, and I hope you enjoy it. So, anyways, this is the end of this sim. Did not get the job done to say the least, but uh, more fun stories are on the way. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again very soon.